Hey guys, this is Mr. A Crizzy here, and welcome back to another movie review. In tonight in tonight's movie review, this is gonna be on this is gonna be on on an adventure comedy film from 1985, and that is The Goonies. So I remember watching this movie, The Goonies, at my at my private school, like back in like 2017 or early 2018. And so in The Goonies, The Goonies is about these kids who 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 must try who must try and save their homes from foreclosure and while doing so they go on this adventure when when they find this old treasure map and and then well, as they go on this adventure with the treasure map they they're being chased down by criminals who want treasure for themselves and so all, all the kids in this movie all have to do whatever they can to to rescue their homes and yeah so so that's the so that's the basic plot of, of the goonies that's what the Goonies. That's basically what the Goonies is about. So, like I said, I remember watching this movie at private school, High Road Academy, like years ago, back in twenty, in between twenty seventeen and early twenty eighteen, when I first watched this movie. And I gotta say, the Goonies. I, I actually really love this movie. Yeah, the, probably probably one of one of my favorite movies of nineteen eighty five. Yeah. Cause and even because the acting performances in this movie, like it's got a good story and and it's got a good adventure story, and, and the acting performances are really good too. Like Sean Astin's in this movie, like Sean Astin, Corey Feldman, Josh Brolin. Josh Brolin was actually really very young in this movie. Like to to, all, to to most MCU fans out there, we know Josh Brolin as Thanos from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but Josh Brolin was also was also very young in this movie, and Josh Brolin did a great job in this film. Sean Astin did a good job as well. And there's also Corey Feldman. Corey Feldman was also good in this movie too. Corey Feldman was also in a bunch of other a bunch of other popular '80s movies as well. Yeah, Corey Feldman. And of course, the screenwriter of this movie is actually Chris Columbus. Chris Columbus, who's known for directing the first two Home Alone movies, the first two Harry Potter movies, and Pixels. And of course, the story for, the story for this movie was actually by Steven Spielberg. Yeah, because I think Steven Spielberg himself actually came up with a story for the Goonies while Chris Columbus wrote the screenplay. And I think, and all the filmmakers did, did, did a great job working on this film, The Goonies. And e even the setting of this movie, like, 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 considering how this movie came out in 1985, it kind of does, does feel the nostalgic 80s setting. Yeah. 1985, when this movie first came out on June 7th, 1985, by Warner Brothers. And yeah, and definitely Richard Donner's direction for this movie, the director of this movie, he 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 does he does a really great job as well. He did he does a great job directing this film. And plus we and plus we all heard, we all know we all know what's, we all know Richard Donner's trending right now because because sadly Richard Donner has recently passed away yesterday. Yeah, it was very you know, very sad to hear Richard Donner passed away. So and. Richard Donner not not only directed The Goonies, but he also directed a bunch of other movies as well, like Scrooge, Lethal, we Lethal Weapon, and yeah, because yeah, all, all the movies you can think of that Richard Donner directed: Lethal Weapon, Scrooge, The Goonies. Oh yeah, and also Superman the Movie. Almost forgot about Superman the Movie. He directed the original Superman with Christopher Reeve and Gene Hackman. And Ned ba Ned Beatty as well, yeah. So yeah, everything about the Goonies is wonderful, and and and, and the acting performances, but for the acting performances with with Sean Astin, Corey Feldman, and Josh Brolin, they all did a good job in this film. And, and of course, I kind of felt like reviewing the Goonies since since I've seen it before, and Richard Donner recently passed away, so I kind of felt like reviewing the, reviewing this as a tribute and loving memory of Richard Donner. So overall, the Goonies is a great movie from 1985, and I'm gonna give the Goonies five out of five stars. Definitely one of the best. Definitely, well, not really one of the best, but but it's kind of the same thing to, by saying. One of my favorite movies of 1985. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. A bunch, I don't know some other movies that came out in 19. It came out in 19, 1985. But the first thing that comes. But the first movie that comes to my mind when I think of 1985 is um the Goonies. Yeah, that's all I can think of while, while I'm filming this video. So if if you haven't seen the Goonies yet, I I recommend it, definitely.
And plus, if if you live in America and there and you have HBO Max, then I it. This movie's this movie's streaming on on HBO Max. The Goonies streaming on HBO Max. So if you live in America, like if you if, like if if you live in, in the United States of America and you have HBO Max, then feel free to stream it if you want. But it, but if you're in a different country where 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 HBO Max is not involved, then I don't know what to say. But I I think I I think HBO Max should should be in different countries as well besides the United States. Cause, cause in the United Kingdom, there's no HBO Max. But I, I, I think there's, I think, but I think there should be HBO Max in other countries besides the United States. Cause I just wanted, I don't, I don't really understand what, why the United, uh, why there's only HBO Max in the United States. I, I think HBO Max was also in another country, but not, not, but HBO Max is not really all around the globe. But whatever. So. So there you have it, guys. Definitely check out The Goonies if you haven't seen it yet. And that's going to be it for my review on The Goonies. And that's and that's going to be it for this video. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Mr. A. Crizzy saying goodbye, everybody. And that's about it.